what is up guys in this video we're going to be going over fortnite's dr doom or absolute doom live event that happened earlier today if you missed it it was a pretty long event and definitely not what personally i anticipated as always if you guys do enjoy this video find it helpful informative interesting remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below what you thought of this event so first we're going to show the intro to the event which is like a cinematic cutscene. And then from there, it goes into a Doom boss battle. So we're going to go into the cutscene right now, and I'll pick up back when we're fighting Dr. Doom. Last beacon is online. T minus five, four, three, two, let him have it! How is it still standing? That's it, GG's. I already hate him. Poor fish stick. is the best, I guess. Dang, he hates Hope. She's the best. The guy told them to stop shooting when he grabbed her. That's all the good people. Uh, imagine if he was this size when someone captured Doom Island. I don't have guns. I do have a gun, but I guess we'll have to die. But Shuri thinks that will be enough if we can significantly weaken Duke. I have a shotgun, it doesn't even do damage. Oh, well, maybe we don't do damage by shooting him and we have to like do something on the map. I got the shield bubbles for the rotate. So after that cutscene, we as a community had to fight and defeat Dr. Doom. He has one giant health bar, but his health is actually was actually shared amongst the entire world. So me and my lobby shooting Dr. Doom was contributing damage to his overall health. And then you and your lobby shooting Dr. Doom was also contributing damage to the same health bar. And we as a community had to like fight to eliminate Dr. Doom and reduce this massive health bar. So this was like kind of the Doom boss battle. This is not what I anticipated. Fortnite has done kind of things like this in the past where there's like a giant HP bar the community has to like uh, deplete together. We had this with the Pandora's box chains earlier in the year, uh, earlier in chapter five. And then in the past we had with the, uh, the unvaulting event where we had to like ex excavate the area together. Uh, but either way, people are just gonna be mag dumping Dr. Doom for an incredible, incredibly long length of time and and i feel like the boss battle itself uh really isn't the most interesting thing you just kind of sit here and damage him and then we're all just kind of hoping for his health bar to go down or waiting until it's finally down to see the second stage of the event which is what we're going to get into now And with that, that is the conclusion of the Doom event. His mask was left behind in the middle of the map, but the main changes are actually that Doom damaged some of the beacons and sent them flying to different POIs. These, these beacons are now at Brawler's Battleground, Grand Glacier, and Restored Reels. These are the POIs that's going to be changing for Fort Nightmares later on in the update. So, like, this event... 
foreshadowed map changes and is like the catalyst for the map changes but these map changes aren't actually in game but it is very interesting that we're going to be getting three pois changed for the fort nightmares event and i believe this will make uh rebels roost the only poi that has remained throughout the entirety of chapter five if grand glacier actually does change significantly so that's pretty interesting but that is it for this video and for the live event as always if you guys did find this to be you know helpful informative interesting i, I know the event was kind of weird uh give this video a like subscribe if you like to see more comment down below what you thought of it and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching